I've always, you know, was pretty good in school and I've always had to help other kids. Uh, I can remember back to being a, a pretty strong reader as a young kid and the teacher would have me help kids. I've always um, thought about teaching and coaching and wanting to help kids and so when I thought about what I want to do with my life, that's what I thought would be the best for me was um, spe specifically through athletics to give back through coaching. Um, I always loved history, I always loved social studies, so it seemed like a pretty cool thing to do. I always tell the kids my three things I thought I would do would be a pro football player, a pro wrestler, a teacher, so uh, I never pursued those other things, so I loved wrestling as a kid, so um, teaching was um, just kind of my calling. When you look at the state testing data, you would think that you're walking into an abyss. Um, I'm just going to be honest. It's been my experience when you look at performance that's um, where it is. And just to be honest and give the unvarnished truth, it's, it's not good. Um, so I was really taken aback when I walked into the facility because I had not toured the school before I came um, and saw that the school is fabulous and I'm asking questions about technology and I'm asking do we have technology that's integrated into the classroom and things like student response systems and Elmo document cameras and things that I know that can make uh, instruction engaging and the answer I keep hearing is we have that, we have that. Um, the district has been able to, um, this year we will be one-to-one -one with um, every student having the opportunity to have um, a Chromebook. Um, in class and we have 40 carts of Chromebooks so I'm used to not having I'm used to old crumbling facilities that were putting together with duct tape and band-aids and not having the technology and having to you know spend every dime we had to add labs and to add the um, classroom technology that, that I'm discussing so to have that um, in place with a wonderful facility and every student that I've met that's been in summer school so far looked me right in the eye, shook my hand, and been respectful. And um, so I think that there's a lot to build off of. So my just general expectations of coming into an underperforming school and normally what that entails, they've been, it's, we're, we're 180 degrees from where you normally are when you walk into these situations. I mean, I'm in it for the kids. Um, I, didn't, I didn't go into education to work with adults. I mean, I really don't even like adults. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> We're there with kids. So no, I'm everywhere. Um, my administrative team will be everywhere. Um, the adults in the building will be everywhere. Um, I'll be the loudest guy at the games and I have to control myself because I just really like watching kids compete and do well.